Hi everyone, my name is Heather McAloon. On September 1st, 1998, Scholastic's Books published a book called Ellen Enchanted. This book was wrote by Gail Carson Levine and it has no illustrator. It is just a novel, it is just words. Now, I believe the genre is fantasy, children's literature, fiction. It is, like I said, it is a novel and I believe it's adventure because you do go on adventure in this book. And this book's really interesting too. Now, it the appropriate age, I feel, is 10 and up. It is 232 pages. And what's really cool about this book is, as you can see on the front cover, you see this award here. Now, in 1997, it actually won, it actually won the Newberry Honor Award. So, now I'm sure everyone has seen the movie Ella Enchanted. The book is different from the movie. There is certain aspects of it, how, like, the dad was looking for Ella, a suitor, and had to be rich. And that's how he ended up marrying the mom. And about how that Ella and Charles were messaging each other throughout the whole thing. And that's how they kind of got to know each other. And, like, at the end, there was a three-night ball. And, like, Cinderella, it was the household goods and everything that turned it into the horses and the carriage and the disguises and all that. It's a very good book. Now, I love the way the book shows the emotions. It shows you the emotions of the character. It walks you through the journey. It, dra it draws you in. It makes you feel like you are there for the story. I believe this is a very good book because not only does it stress the emotions for the kids to learn, it also shows in the book that she never gives up. She goes through all this hardship and all this learning, and she never gives up no matter what they throw at her. And toward the end, it even talks about the reason why she was able to break the curse of the gift of obedience is because she was so unselfish. Not a lot of people are like that nowadays. And I, unfortunately, I think that's really sad. I think that we need to teach the children that not everything is going to be all fine and dandy every day. We all go through rough times. It's going to happen. But we never should give up. We should always be able to strive and do our best and walk away. And that is how she gets her happily ever after. And kids, I know, they love the happily ever after. And I think that's something they're going to try to do. They're going to try to strive. They're going to try to do their best. And we need to stress that to them, that no matter what, you always need to do your best. So I feel like this is probably a really good book for them to read. And, so, and also, I think a good activity with them, especially with the young ones, have them sit down. Have them either think if they were a fairy. Give them one thing of one gift they would give a kid or someone else and see how it would impact their life. See how it would affect them and what they would have to do, how it would change their life and see why they gave that wish, what that wish could do for them. The goal is so they can see how much one decision can impact a child's life and how much it can change them. But it's also to show them that no matter what, you never give up. Thank you.